What on earth is Q star? Well, nobody, at least not in the public domain, seems to know for sure. Could it be a giant step closer to AGI? It's possible. There are some big hints out there, so let's take a look. Okay, so this article on Reuters talks about how this story unfolded. So firstly, Reuters info seems to come from people they refer to as two people familiar with the matter. It doesn't specify, but since there are reports of internal matters at OpenAI, one would likely assume that they are current employees. Now, the story essentially is that the staff researchers penned a letter to the board warning that a powerful AI discovery could threaten humanity. Supposedly, according to this article, this was a key factor in Sam Altman's sacking. Now, if you don't know what happened, he was fired and after a few days of panic and board replacement, he ended up back as CEO of OpenAI. A key determinant of his return may have been the 700 or so OpenAI employees that threatened to quit and jump ship to Microsoft unless he was reinstated. Given the name OpenAI, it would appear that they are not in fact that open. Maybe they should be called closed API. Let me know if you have any better name suggestions for OpenAI going forward in the comments below. Now, before we move on, I want to highlight the words threaten humanity. That's quite Quite serious wording. Supposedly, the letter, along with the march towards commercialization, were some of, but not the only concerns about Altman's leadership. This is actually kind of understandable given OpenAI's big talk of safety, especially around its inception and early on. Although OpenAI did not comment to Reuters, they again seemingly have access to info about internal memos which acknowledge a mysterious project with a peculiar name, Q Star. Now, this is expected to be something that is a big step towards AGI, AGI being artificial general intelligence, defined by OpenAI as autonomous systems that surpass humans in most economically valuable tasks. Note the word most, so lots of room for interpretation there. You can see plenty of people commenting that it is in fact already here. This screenshot talks about it being here in public form and pretending it's not AGI, which is of course nonsense, but an entertaining read nonetheless. Okay, so back to QSTAR. Given vast computing resources, the new model was supposedly able to solve certain mathematical problems at the level of grade school students, which I think is what we refer to in the UK as primary school level. So we're not talking about advanced mathematics here necessarily. So why would this be exciting? Well, if you think about much of ChatGPT being something that will predict predicting what the next best word might be in a result. While this may give good narrative results explaining something, it doesn't necessarily give the impression of any real reasoning. However, being able to do mathematical computation implies working things out, i.e. calculating, but through AI. So this indeed appears like somewhat of a breakthrough. To the ordinary observer, it might not look like that since people are getting great answers from the likes of ChatGPT. They would expect, unless they tested it, that the maths would be pretty easy. Actually, it's more likely from the outset that systems like Wolfram Alpha are great at maths, but they are a completely different animal than the recent explosion in LLMs. This article from Technology Review mentions researchers have for years tried to get AI models to solve math problems. Language models like ChatGPT and GPT-4 can do some math, but not very well or reliably. We currently don't have the algorithms or even the right architectures to be able to solve math problems reliably using AI, says Wendell Lee, an AI lecturer at the University of Edinburgh. Deep learning and transformers, a kind of neural network, which is what language models use, are excellent at recognizing patterns, but that alone is likely not enough, Lee adds. Now, if we take a look at OpenAI, there is an article at OpenAI under the research section that talks about this. It's essentially saying what your teachers told you at school, which is to show your working. So instead of AI doing something and if the outcome is what you want, you give it some doggy treats. Now you reward the working out steps and reward those along the way, not just the final outcome, i.e. process supervision. Coming back to the Reuters article, there was also a mention of a secret team formed by combining the code gen and the math gen teams looking to explore the optimization of existing AI models to deliver reasoning capabilities. Finally, it refers to the Summit of World Leaders in San Francisco, where Sam mentioned that four times in the history of OpenAI, the veil of human ignorance was pushed back and the frontier of discovery forward. All this a day before he was fired. Let's take a quick look at that now. Forward. And getting to do that is like the professional honor of a lifetime. So yeah. that's just, it's so fun. There's even a forum entry on the OpenAI community board, so worth checking that out. I'll include a link to that in the description below. So is QSTAR the result of research into reliable mathematical computation, laying the foundations of scientific research? Well, maybe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, thank you for watching. And if you do not want to be the last to know about important news and tech industry developments, make sure you hit subscribe.